Hey guys, welcome to MNMM IELTS. Today's video is again about essay, one of those topics which is very challenging for a lot of students when they appear for the IELTS test and hence we have set up a target that we will try and help you in the best possible way when it comes to IELTS. So what I've done is I've selected one of those most repeated essay titles that I've come across and I've carved an essay that is suitable for 8 band. So if your desired score is 8, then you should definitely watch this video. You should definitely note it down the points that I share when I share about this essay so that you can also get an idea as to how can you write your essay and get a similar scope. Let's get started. So the first things first, what I will do is I have to read the question, I have to understand the question and I have to understand the requirement of the question because that is the first thing that I need to do before I even start writing my essay. So the first thing is children in several countries are getting obese these days. So this is a statement. Great. I've understood it. Perfect. Now, this has become a concerning situation. That means there is a problem given to us. So we now know that there has there is a problem that has been given to us. Discuss. OK, we have to discuss the problem and suggest. So we have to give our suggestion. We have to give some opinion solutions. S. That means more than one. Solutions. We have to give them multiple solutions, more than one solution. All right. Now, I have read the question. I have understood the question and I've understood the requirement. Now I can start writing essay because I know what is expected out of me. All right. So the first things first, let us see how to introduce our topic, how to in write an introduction. So how to write an introduction? So this first paragraph would be my introduction paragraph. The rising prevalence of childhood obesity is indeed a critical issue in many countries today, presenting multifaceted challenges and requiring concerted efforts for effective mitigation. Now, what is exactly done here? I am basically agreeing with what is shared in the question, in the subject, in the title. The statement that has been given to me, I am just agreeing with it because they have just shared a problem and they are expecting solution out of us. So if we don't agree with the problem, how will we provide them solution, right? So the way I have introduced my essay is by telling the reader, the examiner that yes, I agree there is a problem. I understand there is a situation. That's how you know that now you will start discussing about it. This essay will explore the causes of this problem and propose potential solutions. So I have also shared to my examiner that, that I understand that there is a problem and I will share solutions regarding the same. So when the examiner is reading your introduction, they are very clear that the student has understood that there is a problem and that there are some solutions expected out of them and they are agreeing with this statement. They are agreeing that yes, there is a problem. That is what introduction is all about, just opening up the argument. So that is taken care and done. Now, let us go to the next paragraph. This paragraph, one of the primary causes of childhood obesity is unhealthy dietary habits. So now what have I done? I have started the discussion because that is the first thing that they have expected out of me. The discussion. Discuss. With the proliferation of fast food chains and the availability of processed foods, children often consume high calorie, low nutrient meals that contribute to weight gain. So what have I done really? I have just started the discussion and I have shared how this problem starts. Because first you have to discuss and then give solutions. We can't straight away jump to the solution without discussing the problem. And how are you actually supposed to discuss the problem? By sharing your ideas as to how you feel this problem starts. So I have written about the processed foods, the canned foods that people eat these days, the unhealthy food that people eat that is lacking nutrient in it and it's all about you know putting on weight so my discussion has started with explanation about the problem moreover so i'm writing more the sedentary lifestyle prevalent among children characterized by excessive screen time and reduced physical activity exacerbates the problem that means this is the reason 
that the problem is increasing there is an inclination high inclination towards this area what is that inclination that students or people or kids they are just you know stuck to their mobile phones or maybe their ipads or maybe their their gamings you know their video games and there is the amount of physical activity is reducing and the amount of screen time is increasing which is contributing towards the problem it is only contributing more and more towards the problem which means it is one of the reason that this problem is arising that is what i've tried and explained here now this combination so what combination eating unhealthy and not having physical activity this combination of poor diet and lack of exercise creates a conducive environment for obesity to develop so i have given two reasons according to me what i feel is the reason what are the reasons i feel because of which you have obesity in children so i've shared the uneat unhealthy eating habits and i've shared the lack of exercise so i've discussed my problem and my point of view that is what this paragraph was all about right now let us see what next paragraph has for us to address this issue now we are talking about addressing this issue several strategies can be implemented firstly governments should play a pivotal role by implementing policies that promote healthy eating habits now what have i done here the first line several strategies can be implemented i am telling the examiner i am telling the person who's checking my essay that i am aware that i am not only supposed to give you one solution i am aware that solutions are expected out of me and i have made it very clear that i am going to provide you several and not just one it is very important for you to express that you have understood what is expected out of you and that you are on the right track it really helps that for you to boost your scores so that is why i started with firstly because that is an indication that there is more coming okay next is this includes stricter regulations on food marketing aimed at children particularly for food high in sugar and fat additionally schools can enhance nutrition education programs and provide healthier meal options in cafeterias to encourage better dietary choices now what have i done i have just given them two important piece of pieces of information which i feel is necessary in order for us to address this issue of obesity in children so i've given them two that's why i've written moreover now let us explain this a little deeper secondly so because it was firstly over here now secondly the next paragraph why secondly because the first is already discussed in the previous paragraph so secondly promoting physical activity is crucial so first we have shared about all the eating habits and what can be done the role of government and everything now schools should prioritize physical education classes and provide opportunities for extracurricular sports and activities community initiatives such as recreational programs and sports leagues can also engage children in regular exercise making it a fun and integral part of their daily routines so in this paragraph what i have done is i have given them a suggestion that again i have to give suggestions i have to express what i feel can be done so i have expressed that okay this is what can be done to avoid this problem this issue this situation which is encouraging extracurricular activities sports basically to increase the amount of physical activity in order for uh, the students to have or children to have less screen time and they can indulge in more physical activities physical work so that they are fit they are healthy so this is a great solution provided because i have first in the first paragraph if you have a look not the first paragraph the second paragraph where we were discussing about the problem so this paragraph was all about the problem discussion all right so first i have introduced my essay where i agreed that okay i understand there is a problem and i'll give you some solutions then first i discussed the problem where i have shared that okay what is the reason this problem starts or this problem escalates i would say Hel lack of unhealthy sorry lack of 
eating healthy food and you know getting into unhealthy habits and lack of exercise i've shared the problem now next thing that i want to do is i want to give them some ideas as to how to overcome this challenge which i have done in two separate paragraphs the first where i have written firstly and all that is encouraging government to indulge into it and you know encouraging the food marketing of healthy food these days if you look at the food vlogs there are some food vlogs which encourage good and healthy eating habits whereas on the other hand there are several that encourage you to eat street food which might not be very healthy so you have to explain the problem first and then you have to give your solution which i've done in these two paragraphs so first paragraph i've discussed the solutions associated with the food part next paragraph i've discussed the solution associated with the exercise part because those were my two problems so i have to make sure that i address solutions for both these problems all right now what i have done at the end which is the last paragraph and the conclusion which is one of the most important part of your essay introducing something and concluding something is equally important because that is how your essay starts and ends definitely what you're writing in the middle and as in the body is important but conclusion according to me is one of the most important part of essays and you should not go wrong there now I like to start with in conclusion because I want to make it very clear that I'm about to conclude my essay, my argument, my ideas, my solution. Childhood obesity is a complex issue driven by dietary habits, sedentary lifestyles and environmental factors. Conclusion. You're concluding your entire essay here. You're not concluding one paragraph. So when you're concluding your entire essay, you have to start your conclusion by concluding that yes, there is a problem and these are the reasons because of which this problem escalates and it's increasing day by day addressing this problem requires coordinated efforts by government schools communities and families after you've discussed the problem conclusion now you're starting the conclusion for your solution by implementing policies to promote healthy eating increasing opportunities for physical activity and raising awareness among parents we can effectively combat childhood obesity and ensure a healthier future generation so i have first concluded the problem then concluded the solution where i've given my suggestion as to i feel this is the way you can tackle this issue the most important thing that you need to keep in mind for writing this essay this sort of essay where you need your eight bands is you have to be very expressive when you express the problem express it properly as in don't express the same thing again and again when you use something once in your essay as a word or as a idea don't express it again and again and again and even if there is a need to talk about the same thing again which you've already maybe discussed in the previous paragraphs then express it in a very different pattern in a very different fashion i would say you have to use different sets of vocabulary you cannot use the same words repeatedly because if you are doing that that shows that your knowledge over vocabulary is not very sound and that will not help you to get a good score so use different sets of vocabulary express the problem express the solution give if they are asking for multiple solutions then make sure that you've written two paragraphs at least for solution because that clearly shows that you understood the question and you've understood that yes you need to provide two sets of solutions so combination of all these things understanding the question understanding what is expected out of you delivering what is expected out of you ex explaining the problem and solution properly with different sets of vocabulary will help you to get your desired band score for essay writing and for your writing section indeed now i am not encouraging you that you have to memorize this essay and then when you get this essay in exam if you get it if you're lucky let's say just go and copy and paste it that is not what i'm encouraging you this is no sort of template but when you go through these videos when you go through this essay writing you will understand that what i'm trying to say is how you should 
get into habit of writing essays regularly you should get your essays checked you should make sure that you know what you are writing once you should target not repeating it because these small little things they help you to get a perfect essay and you will if you practice it regularly then you will not have the fear of essay which a lot of students have i hope this video helped you i wish you all the best with your with your ielts preparation and if there's anything bothering you for ielts put that in the comment section below and we are more than happy to address those issues bye for now